Welcome back to Multi Arts Victoria. I'm Anna, and today I'm going to be reading Wings of Fire, the graphic novel book two, Lost Her. Wings of Fire, the Lost Her. Here's the map. Empyria. You pause the video so you can see it. The Lost Her. This is the dragon pro. When the war has lasted 20 years, the Dragonids will come. When the land is soaked in blood and tears, the Dragonids will come. Find the seawing egg of deepest blue, wings of night shall come to you. The largest egg in mountain high will give you the wings of sky. For wings of earth search through the mud for an egg the color of dragon blood and hidden alone from the rival queen. The sending egg awaits unseen of three queens who blister blaze and burn. Two queens shall die and one shall learn. If she bows to fate that is stronger than how she'll have the power of wings of fire. Five eggs to hatch on the brightest night. Five dragons want to end the fight. Darkness will rise to bring the light. The dragon nits are coming. Prologue. The missing princess again? I'll meet with the hard parts? Man with grief, the queen exclaimed, My egg, oh, who has stole my sea blue egg? No, skip to the end. I knew you'd come back to me. I knew you were out there trying to find your way back. I never stopped searching for you. Her joyous parents threw, threw a feast for the whole kingdom. They dined on oysters and turtles and whales. And they all lived happily ever after. Together. Part 1. The Edge of the Ocean <sighs> You guys, is this, is that the smell of freedom? Freedom smells a lot like fish. I love it. Shall we stay beneath the trees? What if a patrol spots us? We must stay under the trees. Alright everyone, back to the trees right now. Sorry Starflight. Splish, snap. You know what I love? Fish. Big fish. Not these little wriggle scraps. Quite. It's only been one a day since you caught us that enormous pig. It wasn't enormous. That was the smallest pig in the world. I'm serious, everybody. It's not safe on the beach. With the mud wings and the sky wings all looking for us. Why are you so worried? You've got magical night wing friends who will swoop in and rescue you. I'm not worried for me. Try to keep us all safe. I'm keeping us safe just fine. When have I ever led us wrong? Well, there was that one time we got captured by the Skywinds and the Queen nearly killed us. Whap! Stop! Stop it! Stop fighting all of you! Clay, stop them! Well, oh, it's alright for Starflight to worry. We don't even know if Queen Scarlet's alive or dead. <laughs> well, the sooner we find the scene, the safer we'll be. So let's do that instead of fighting them out. That's right. Finding my mother is the most important thing. Our big wings, so wise and big. I think he is. So, what now? We shout, Hey, sea wings, we got your missing princess. Yeah, and the sea wings rise from the ocean, like the scroll. And they'll sing, and they'll have a feast. A feast! Fish. Big fish. Even bigger fish. Oysters, turtles, a whole whale. You know, the missing princess is just a scroll. We have no idea what we're actually going to find in the kingdom of the sea. It might not be what you're hoping for, Tsunami. Let's, like, finding out my mother sold me for a cow. Hey, at least it was two cows. Yeah, sure. I know that, but it won't be like that for me. Poor Clay, his mother may be awful, but mine is a queen. And I'm her only living daughter, so I'm her only heart. I could just dive in and look for the steaming palace. Out there? What else do you suggest? I find the sea wings. Swimming in the ocean is not like swimming in an underground river. There are strong currents and, and unpredictable waves and, and, and big seams with teeth. I'm a big seam with teeth. It's not safe. What if we lose you? What if we lost you? Starflight chirps. So now we can do anything. Oh no, what about us? We can't breathe down there. How are we going to stick together if you're on the water? Oh, Clay, didn't it just occur to you that that's just that sea wings live underwater. Seriously, all those geographically lessons and not a single one sunk in? What? The sea wings have an above water palace too. Oh, good view. It's okay, I didn't remember that either. Can't get there 
easily because both of the steam print palaces, the one under water and the one on land, are extremely well hidden. That's how they last so long in the war, even though they don't have fire. Nobody can stop find them. They sound sounds like Nightwings. It's nothing like the Nightwings. Demons aren't being deliberately superior or mysterious. They're just guarding their homes. Does anyone else smell fire? Sorry, moon starts like I'm not hiding in the trees every time down some little thing spooks you. Wait, I think he's right. I hear wing beats. I do too. From this far away. Blah, 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 blah. Sonny, I can make it to the trees. I'll fly real fast. I'll be safer in the sea. Oh, fine, go fast. Sonny must be safely hidden by now, right? Right? I have to check on her. Maybe if I just surface a little bit. Sonny, hurry. Is that a muddling? I don't like trusting a talent. I don't love working with you either. Is that muddling from the talent? Is it peace? You're certain he'll lead us there. Positive. He's cowardly some little too. He misses home. I told him Queen Cora was in a forgiving mood. And he believed you? He's still grieving. What are the towns from peace up to now? Flop, flop. That sunny tail. Has this guy spotted him? What if he calls the otters back? We're no match for six of them. He looks like a, he's staring at the trees. Has he seen some? <laughs> oh! I can't take a full grown skyling up in there. I've got to force him in the water. Yeah. You're not getting to my friends. Crunch. Ah! Fire, fire, fire. I've got a whole lot to say, my friends. Push! What is wrong with you? Oh, you're welcome, Glory. Just saving your life at unusual, as usual by attacking random dragons. He was flying away. Why did he do that? To save you, but he wasn't doing anything. He was about to call the otters. I saw him open his mouth. So did I. I'm pretty sure it was yawning. Pretty sure you risk our lives for pretty sure he wasn't yawning. But was he? No, I saw danger and I reacted appropriately. Didn't I? Maybe if he just stopped to sing for a second or forever? Like you? Sing, 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 sing. Worry, worry. Never do anything. And what are you doing? Um, fixing him? What? You can't let him live. We don't have to kill him. We'll just leave him here. Tie him up and leave him here. Great. How about a trail of cow parts, too? And a map of where we're going? Would you like me to spell out Dragonets was here in giant rocks? Fine. Here he is. You kill him. Just spot some venom on his face. If it's that easy for you. I don't kill dragons. Okay. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So what do we do with him now, pretty old leader? There's a tree in the forest. No, wait. A tree in the forest? A fallen tree. I think we can use it. Wait, go left, left, left. No, no, right. As if we need to be told how to move a tree. He's waking up. Then we better get this done. Maybe we should just let him go. We can't do that. I wish you didn't attack him. Me too. It wasn't the smartest move. You don't know that. Maybe that saves us again. Wait, don't leave me like this. Remember, we could have killed you. Remember... The dragonets of destiny were merciful. We want peace, not more death. We have come to stay by. Oh, good grief. No more hanging with these nightmares for you. That, that sound is sounding nice. Don't encourage, don't encourage him. Why can't we sleep on the beach? We need to stay hidden. Skylings can't see us in the middle of the night. He's right. We shouldn't risk it. You said always think he's right. All I wanted to do is what's best for them. Don't. They know I'll fight a hundred scoundrels to protect them. Maybe I shouldn't even bother. Maybe my friends don't want my protection after all. Maybe they want Starflight to be the leader, even though he never risked one scale with them. They're still mad about that Skyling, and I s suppose I suppose to just let him catch. I'm supposed to let just let him catch Sunny. Maybe my own kind would understand me better. <laughs> not bad. It's not exactly like a squirrel, but it's pretty down here. Is that another ceiling? A dragon from my own tribe. Why is he acting so sneaky? Should I go back and tell the others? No, don't be a smug leader. This is what you were hoping for. I won't hurt to follow him and s little and say hello. Flash. Who's that? Hmm. No. Who's that? Hmm. Nowhere near as handsome as the first flash, 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 flip, flash, flash. Why 
already lighting up this gate with some kind of sea room patrol ritual. I guess I'll have to learn that stuff to be cool. Looks like you're done. Well, I came out here to meet a sea room, didn't I? I'll rather talk to him than the other one. Now or never. Come on, get out of the water so we can talk. Sit. Sit up, I just want to talk. Ah! <laughs> Got you. Flash, flash, flash. All right, I can do that too. Maybe he's testing me. See, my stripes flash too. I'm seeing. Now let's go talk. Flash, flash, flash. Get up! Yes, why are you attacking me? Better get Clay for backup. Wait! What are you you going? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why did you just say why did you just attack me? I certainly did not. Meanwhile, Clay in his background is like, hmm? I saw you that's the moment. You said if you liked me. I didn't say anything, you didn't delusion old squid brain. Well, maybe not in those exact words. It was a little confusing. Maybe a lot confusing. When, when do you imagine I said all this? Shortly after you attacked me? You were the one attacking me. You were the one attacking me. I was trying to be friendly. Stop. Tell me exactly what you think I said. Uh, hey, sparkling teeth. I love three of your claws, but not the others. And I wish your nose was hearing uh, so I could eat it. Ha, ha, ha. That's hilarious. You're seriously going to pretend you didn't say that. Of course I didn't. I couldn't say anything. We were underwater. Remember? Who are you? I'm a seaman, just like you. So, there's no need to get hostile. A seaman who doesn't speak aquatic, not like it. Aquatic, uh, seems have their own language. Look out! <laughs> hey, you squid brain! Stop! What are you doing? I'm saving you from that mudwing! He's my friend, but mudwings are our enemies! Leave Clay alone! That's my other friend, Sunny. Try not to hurt him. We need his help. I hardly think this gun is going to hurt me. We're not your enemies. We're the Dragonets of Destiny. Later. Riptide. That's a funny name. I like it. Fierce and scary like mountains. And you're the Dragonets of Destiny. The ones in the prophecy. You were really all raising them. Okay? With no ocean? Never? Not until we escaped. But that's awful. It is, isn't it? Even webs. Why did it take you to the ocean? You know webs? Not really. He ran away when I was only two years old. But he's infamous for stealing Cole's egg. I've heard about his strategy all my life. Didn't anyone think the egg might be part of the prophecy? Queen Blister doesn't like us to talk about that. Blister gets to decide what sea wings talk about. You want to call her Queen Blister when you meet her. Not until we decide who should be queen. Well, Queen Blister is really pretty good. I mean, he, she's the smart one. I think we will probably. What are you rattling about? Nothing. Anyway, I'm not sure we care about the prophecy. I care about the prophecy. But we do care about finding our families. Only a few days ago, I found out I was stolen from the royal hatchery. So I thought maybe my parents were looking for me to like, like in the missing princess. princess? You know it. It's required reading in school. Card reading? That's weird. School. Poof. Gotta play. I understand, but I can't take you to the palace. Not along with, with not with him alone. Are you listening? He's not a regular mudwing. I'm in enough trouble with Queen Coral. If I bring a mudwing to the palace, I might as well just pull out my own teeth. Ew! That's not a punishment, is it? Can I bring you and leave the others at least until Queen Coral gives permission? Nope, we're all coming with you. Think of it this way. What happens if Queen Coral finds out you met her missing daughter and didn't bring her back? All right. But he has to be blind blindfolded. It would be better if they could all be blindfolded. What am I going to do? Round up some scary rainings to sleep on your roof? Scary rainings. <laughs> what a thing to say. No blindfold for me, then. No one's no... Not one's no everything. It's no use trying to keep secrets from them. I mean, us. You can't blindfold me. I don't mind. If you blindfold Sunny, you, she can ride on my back. Or my back. You think you're strong enough? Sure he is. I'll ride with him. You, you can leave Clay. Well, fine. I guess everyone's getting the orders now. Why does Starflight keep trying to take my place? Sunny keeps looking at me like I, she can't doesn't trust me anymore. And the others keep arguing with me. They're still mad because of that sky. Never mind. When they see me as a princess, they'll understand. Ew, it's all wet and slimy. I don't like wood and slimy. That's weird, Clay. Pick dolphins. Can we eat them? No. No. Uh-oh. What? The advance guard. Clay, stop and hover. 
hot reptile. What are you driving home now? I found the missing princess. Yeah, right. I was the one doing all the finding. From the scroll? Is it really her? Oh, really? You riptide. Of all tracks, what an unusual coincidence. Who are you? This is Shark, Commander of Palace Defense and brother to the Queen. I guess he's my uncle. Well, I'm not bowing down to him or anyone else. What does you make think this nip of a dragon comes from the stolen royal leg? Why, do you lose a lot of eggs? Maybe whoever's in charge of palace defense isn't very good at it then. Oh wait, that's you, isn't it? Her story makes sense. She knew about knows about she knew about webs and look at the pattern on her wings. Quick, I have your wings. Gasp! <gasps> the missing princess! Look at Sharks, his are the same, because we're both royal. But one day I shall be queen. Shark will never be anything but a soldier. 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 Oh. Soldier. Very well. Kill the other form, bring her. Don't you touch them! I am the queen's daughter! <laughs> and I order you to leave them alone. Very well. Now take us to my mother. The queen is conducting business at the deep valley. You may wait for her in the summer palace. Send word to the queen. My queen, the queen, my mother. I'm going to meet my parents today. Uh, what's going on? I can't, still can't see. So only managed to get us out of the trouble she got us into. Go on, be nice. That was a welcome to come We must be near the entrance to the summer palace. Wonder how they're concealed it so well. Wait till you see. Don't tell me that's the summer palace. Just watch. Splash. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed this part of Wings of Fire, the graphic novel, book two, The Lost Earth. Come back next time for part two. Part two of this book. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe. We're at 21 subscribers, almost at 25. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe, like, comment, share, and I'll see you next time. Peace.